By declining to appear in a Johnny Depp film, Jim Carrey committed an insane career error and forfeited a $300 million paycheck because he chose Jennifer Aniston as a co-star. One of Hollywood's most well-known performers is Jim Carrey. He established himself as the top comedic actor in the business with roles in films like The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, and How the Grinch Stole Christmas. He received several accolades and attention for his more dramatic roles in films including The Truman Show, Man on the Moon, and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. According to reports, the all-around player made some errors on the route to where he is now. It turns out that throughout the course of his career, at least as far as is known, Jim Carrey lost more than one part to Johnny Depp. Jim Carrey's professional errors. Jim Carrey made a lot of poor choices over his career. The majority of them are extremely surprising. Although it can be challenging to evaluate a film only on the basis of its script, the actors can only be held accountable for following their instincts. The actor passed up the chance to play Will Ferrell and Alf and to voice Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story series. They both ended up being huge global box office successes, although not the only one. The most significant one was his refusal to play Captain Jack Sparrow, given that the shootings occurred on the same dates as Bruce Almighty. He was forced to decline the part. He was unable to change his mind simply because he had already made a commitment to Bruce Almighty. He lost out on a $300 M payment as a result of this. Although he eventually changed his mind, he was also considered for the part of Edward Sissorhands. Afterwards, Bruce Almighty became a huge hit with Jim Carrey, Morgan Freeman, Jennifer Aniston, and Steve Carroll in the cast. Nonetheless, Pirates of the Caribbean ultimately turned out to be a more enduring series. The more sinister version of Bruce Almighty starring Jim Carrey never materialized. The sequel to the film Bruce Almighty was intended to be something evil. Despite the fact that Jim Carrey was left out of a major franchise, he is said to have been enthusiastic about the potential of this film. The Brucifer sequel simply didn't work out for some reason and did not take on a tangible form. The premise of the film was that the main character's wife Grace's passing would push him to turn to Satan in an effort to bring her back from the dead. The remainder of the movie will consist of the antics that transpire. But sadly, the film was never able to leave the writer's room. Fans of Jim Carrey are appreciative of all the stunning films he did chose to make, despite the fact that he has made some pretty significant mistakes over his career.